Okay, so I decided to come out for a bit of a ramble today. Um, I'm in the burn, but I'm in a place where I've never been before. I'm basically looking for good camping spots is what I'm doing. But there's another reason I'm out as well, is I am out to test the Insta360. It's a camera that I've had for a good while now and it's been sitting there not really doing much, being totally honest. And I just want to make sure that is the footage good enough for me to use? Is it worth keeping? Because especially with the introduction of the new Sony camera I have, uh, the footage is unreal. But I suppose this is a total different kind of uh, camera, really. But it'll probably work best for me. The fact that I want to do a lot more hikes and yeah. Let's just see what today is like. I'm filming it all on the 360. But I brought my drone as well, just to get some nice shots. Okay, let's go. I was, I was fully, well, no, I won't say I was fully packed, but I was uh, near enough packed for a hike to go camping last night. It rained all day yesterday. And oh, I find Fridays so difficult to get out. But I shot myself in the foot. And in my last camp video that I did, I spoke a bit about the, the issues that I have with getting out and the issues I have with basically getting ready for a camp. And that exact thing happened to me there last night. Um, it's my own fault. I shot myself in the foot by not having everything ready because I work, I, I working the full day. It was a busy day and I should have had everything in the car just ready to pull the trigger and go, but no. I had stuff I still didn't get ready, I had stuff still to do, and it just, I just got too stressed about the full thing. The rain stopped later on when I look, I, I made the decision I wasn't going because I wasn't ready. Um, and probably the best thing in the world would have been for me to get out. Then there was a beautiful clear sky, and then there was a, a beautiful frosty morning and I missed every single bit of it, so I made some big changes. Like I didn't waste my time last night. I got some more uh, boxes for organizing and I need to add to my organizing because it's not, it's getting the better of me and it's getting the better of my camping. So fix this or don't camp. It's as simple as that. All right, I was Freya gonna get up. Oh, she'll get up here. Okay, let's go. This way Freya. Okay, Freya, let's see how you can get up here. Oh, fair play to you. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's it. Okay, that's the last kind of hurdle, really. Just be careful. Hold on, Freya. I have her off the lead at the moment because there's no animals around, so I wouldn't, um, I'd never leave her, uh, I'd never leave her off if there was a, if there was a chance that there was even sheep or anything around, I just wouldn't do that. So I have the lead with me, so. It's a big mound here now, let me check. Might be nice for an old camp. We have an overflowing water source. Interesting. It's such a cool spot. It really is. around there. The grass is so deep, but it's doable. Okay, so before I keep going upwards, there's another spot over here. It's the one thing about wild camping I love, is finding those nuggets that you can camp and they're yours. <laughs> well, you know yourself. I'm not gonna put a flag down here. Not yet, anyway. Um, okay, okay. So rocky. This way, Freya. Mm, it's so rocky. That is always the problem, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna go this way and then over. Um, but I had someone contact me recently asking, um, a fair play to them, like they're getting into wild camping and they wanted some, some advice, which I gave them, but they were asking me for camping spots then, which, it's not a case of being, um, say, oh, I'm gonna keep this camp spot to myself kind of thing. I'm not like that, but 
I do put in the work. I do put in the work to uh, find those spots. And I think it's a very enjoyable part of hiking. So you need to work for those spots. I would, my worst nightmare would be if I give out a camp spot and then I came back to it and it was trashed. Not that any of ye lovely subscribers would do that, but you know what I'm saying. It happens, unfortunately. If you want to get into wild camping, put the graft in and find the spot. It's the only way to do it. I keep going up and looking down and seeing new areas, but, whoo. Anyways, Freya, this way, this way. I'll soon get to the feckin' top. I keep doing detours because I keep, I keep seeing grassy, grassy areas and then always have a knife with you so you can uh, test the ground. Hmm, interesting. Some nice spots here. I think I got lucky coming up here. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna keep going because I keep backtracking to find because they keep spotting other areas. But that's definitely a spot. And it's sunk down into a bowl and you're gonna be blocked from the wind, so <sighs> delighted with that now. That may be my next spot I'm gonna come camping. <sighs> be a nice winter spot as well, being totally honest. <sighs> Excellent, let's keep going. See, there's more spots over here and I'm meant to be going this way, but I just have to check this out, just in case I do a loop. See, <laughs> if you've followed the map from today, then I'm just zigzagging everywhere, so. I'm gonna find a spot now for a nice cup of tea. I brought a sand boat with me, so I'm really enjoying this. And it's definitely a part of the burn that's less traveled, we'll say, um, which is always good. And here's another big giant bowl. Oh, there's a place right here now as well, over there. Right, so I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna go over because it's getting stupid now. Freya, come here. Even though I did bring water for her. Here, look. There's some ishka for you. Don't be digging it. What are you digging it for? Right, go on. We'll go up here to this cairn. Cairn? Karen. Karen? Karen. <laughs> we'll go up to the, these rocks and we'll, uh, we'll get a cup of tea into us. Ooh, baby. It's a lovely flat spot, isn't it? How bucket is it? My word for the day, buckety. No, it's campable. We'll sit down here and eat. What's your thoughts on the 360 camera so far? I'm just wondering how how it fares out. Uh, how it fares out up against the um, the Action 4. Not that I'm getting rid of the Action 4. Don't get me wrong. It's just a uh, I just want to utilize what I have. So okay, we sit here for you. Very handy dog bowl. We'll push the open. And then we just... All the water comes out. Here, Freya. Oh, with the trusty X-Boil. Haven't had this out in a while, to be honest. And I might have a coffee as well. Look at me with all my drinks and stuff. <laughs> now just waiting for my tea to brew and my coffee uh, the the outland coffee nano machine it's actually very good like i was sent it and like a lot of products when you're sent them you're kind of oh i'll bring them out now and i'll record them and i'll just show them and then that's my job done but it's very handy for that quick boost they're heavy so they'd only be for kind of day hikes and stuff like that but like you don't need um, a fire source, it heats and it brews, and the actual espressos are really nice in it. Um, so yeah, I like them. Oh, 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 if this was smell vision look at that, maize balls. Did I just say maize balls? I am way too old to be saying that. <laughs> I'm such a goal. Amaze balls. Anyway, cheers for the first cup. I'm gonna get an all sambo into me. 
<laughs> I'll teach you something in a sec. These kind of dogs, they are the most beautiful mentality, aren't you? <laughs> and there are so many of them. That's why I'm so afraid to go back out to the Limerick Animal Welfare. I end, I'll end up taking another one, I know I will. It would be nice for her to have a friend all right, but... <laughs> I really don't know. It's a hard one to call, isn't it Freya? <laughs> yeah. Now, cup number two. I got this cup from my niece. She, um, she's over in Canada, but it's Mountain Lab. So, look them up. It's a cool cup. So I've had this out a few times, and the weird thing is, I haven't got this size cup. I've all bigger ones, or so I have a 300, or I have like a 750, and this is the 500, so. <laughs> thank you, Grace, and thank you, Mountain Lab. I know, I know. I'll give you some lovely meat. <laughs> you inhale that, you didn't eat it. Fed and watered. Crummy beard. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. I think the best tent for the likes of the burn would be a freestanding tent. I bring the Langshang here a lot, but the Langshang needs very good grounding. Um, yeah, and that can be that can be a worry sometimes in the burn. Well, not a worry, but you know what I mean. Whoop. I changed the setting. I think this setting is better. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my bearings with this. Um, would it be easier to jump the wall or go back around? Okay, let's go this way, Fray Beans. No fair play to you. Yeah, this uh, ground is so unsteady. A lot of rocks here, but there's a lot of uh, flora and fauna here. They're my outdoor words. Do you like them? <laughs> I've been playing around with an idea, but look, I don't know what I'm even thinking because at the end of the day, it's hard enough keeping one YouTube channel alive besides trying to keep two. All right, hear me out though. All right, hear me out. I'm not starting a second channel. But what I will be doing, I think I'm gonna try it out, is any video or anything that I create, I might upload to like YouTube Juniors or YouTube, uh, the YouTube Kids channels. Like, you know, drinking or, you know, if I like, I like to have an old drink now and again when I'm out. I curse a lot, I know that. So it's more of a, a family friendly version. I can use the same footage that I normally have and just edit it to suit. But I know, I think the idea came into my head when my kids asked me, can, can they watch my videos? But we have the, the parents' protection on, they don't have phones or anything, they're only 10, but they have um, tablets for the first time. So I'm just very conscious of what is online and stuff that is online. So, I was thinking of that, I was thinking of editing one video and then editing a second video for the fan, family friendly YouTube, we'll say. Um, but I don't know, like it's, it's, it takes long enough to edit one video. But in saying that, I, I would have 80% of the other video done as well. And I could have a bit of dialogue that I have recorded separately just for that channel. Anyway, look. Not that I'm looking to, to, to put more work on myself, but it just came to my mind, especially with my, uh, when my kids are asking, you know? But we'll see. Be careful, Freya. Good girl. Oh! Shorts and thorns are not friends. Nice hike with the 360 camera. I'll see what I'll do when I see the footage, but I just, it's a camera I thought of selling for a long time, but, Look, I'll just see how today went and, and I'll see what it's like, but it's mainly for hikes like this. And I know myself that hikes like this and videos like this don't do well on the channel, but I just like showing off our beautiful little country. I'm going to do the full loop the next time. I just didn't have the time today, unfortunately, but I'm glad I got out before the storm hit, which is going to be hitting the next hour, I think. So, shin chin. Um, have a good Saturday. Have a great weekend. 
and it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from her. We'll talk to you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.